everybody, it's Bunny, and I am back from my seemingly long departure, which was in fact only one day. But I just, my face looks a little less chipmunky today. I don't know. I just, I, I have sinuses, which I guess is ultimately not a problem, but my sinuses are acting up. I don't know. Just like facial inflammation. It was... It was super fun. And I'm allergic to lemons. Sassy. Sassy top knot. Can we just take a moment to observe this? I just, I was gonna totally like take this down and crimp my hair today, but it's looking so sassy. It looks like Ariel's bra, like kind of from a side angle, like it just, uh, like seashell, maybe? Maybe only in my head. And then look at this little like flip. I didn't, this was not even an intentional. So it's sassy. Sassy, sassy, sassy. Uh, so I left it alone. Anyway, back to the point of this video. I was tagged by the lovely Arden slash Arose186 some weeks ago. I don't even know how long ago this happened, but you know. So it is the 10 things I would repurchase tag. And thank you to the lovely Swamp Family member, Rael. She sent me this in Swamp Family mail, but it's like a pineapple makeup case, which is just so Tropicana. Inside of it, I have the 10 things that I would repurchase. And some people are like taking this angle with this thing, like as if all of your makeup was stolen. But I just, I don't know. I mean, all my makeup is like in my bathroom. Who would come here? So instead of pretending like the evil Jack Ripper of makeup theft is going to crawl in here and take all of my preshy preshy belongings. I was thinking, you know, like the 10 things you would repurchase, like if they ran out and you had to repurchase them. So these are 10 things. Let me make sure I have 10. Uh, oh my god, I have 11. I can't count. They didn't teach us to count on the swamp, okay? You don't need to know actual real numbers. You just know when you got a boatload of gators, it's time to come home, okay? You got all you need. So 11 things that I would repurchase. Some of them I have already repurchased. Anyway, um, ha ha ha. I will just, uh, I'll just do it now instead of with the continual talking. Okay. Very first thing which I actually did repurchase the other day is my Skin Perfecting Primer by Murad. And Murad is just like face wonder. I trust Murad with my face and that's a lot of trust going on. I discovered this because I got a sample from Beauty Brands and I'm not sure if that's a store that's kind of like globally represented or if it's just here in the southern states but it's just you know it's like another kind of thing that's like Ulta or Sephora except for Beauty Brands has a lot of hair stuff and skincare so they have more Murad products at Beauty Brands than Sephora or Ulta or any of those other places so they gave me a sample of this like many many moons ago and thusly I became attached to it. It is a acne and shine control treatment. It has 5% salicylic salicylic acid and before I put anything else on my face I put this on my face because I don't even care if you're using like the most expensive makeup provided on earth makeup just it's kind of dirty to me you know it's like that cousin that you invite over for like family gatherings and they like don't wash their hands before they like you know pick up pick up from the family style corn you know or is that just me uh so that's what makeup is so i put this barrier kind of thing on my face before I put any of my other makeup on because I feel like if I put the salicylic acid on my face first then there is some hope that like the dirt in the makeup and the oil in the makeup will not counteract with my face in some kind of like Bill Nye sciencey kind of nightmare experiment. There we go. I talked about this way too long. Uh, so it is a moisturizer and it has a little bit of tint, but it's only available in one color. So it's kind of like a universal thing. It's not really like, I don't, it's not really like a color you can tell or identify as a color. Next thing, this is probably honestly my favorite product by MAC that I have ever gotten. Some people may think I'm overdoing this with like the moisturizer facial tint thing, but you know. You can never have enough of a good thing. So I normally do double up on these products. This is another Studio Moisture Tint kind of primer. I mean, that's that's what this is. Studio Moisture Tint SPF 15. But uh, since this does not have SPF in it and I live somewhere where the sun is, I like to have my SPF on my face. Some people may think that this color is too dark for me. I always go with medium plus, but I just put a little tad, little, 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 tad bit and then 
all over the face before I put on any of my foundation, yada yada. This is the color I like. I just, I don't know, man. Like, it, that light color in MAC just drives me absolutely wild. It's like, only if you want to be Nosferatu do you wear the lightest shade of light. It's just like, mm, plastic face. It was too much. Much too much. Next product that I would definitely repurchase, uh, once again I got suckered into it with some kind of like sample deal. It is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. Now, I don't, maybe this is a, like a little bit extravagant, you know, it's like fancy feast, like do you really serve your cat cat food in a crystal dish? Probably not, but you could if you wanted to. I, where was I going with that? Anyway, uh, this is like the queen mother of brow gels. I, like I said, got it in a sample from Sephora around last Christmas. I didn't really think that it was going to make much of a difference for years. I had always used the L'Oreal brow gel. As you can probably tell, I do have kind of like thick eyebrows. I like my eyebrows like that. I don't, I can't, just thin eyebrows are not for me. Even though some people make fun of my eyebrows, I like them. I'm not going to cut them, okay? Everyone is just gonna have to deal with it. Oh, can you see my sassiness? No. God, when I'm talking, my hair is like so sassy. It's like I'm a Muppet. I love this product. It does, in my opinion, work better than like the L'Oreal brow gels. I don't remember how much this cost, but I mean literally, you could probably just buy one tube for the whole year unless you do your makeup like eight times a day because I had the little sample size one and that lasted me like three or four months and then I bought this one, yeah, you know, three or four months ago and I feel like I've only used like a smidge of it. Now the smell when you put it on is kind of strong. It smells like maybe, you know, the frogs with the formaldehyde that they sometimes make you slice into you know, for science-y kind of things. It really kind of is pungent when you're like doing the thing that's necessary. Ugh, I can smell the wafting. As soon as it dries and as soon as it sets and as soon as you put the wand back in the magic wand keeper tube, you don't smell it anymore. So that's not really a problem for me. And if I can buy a product that works better than another product, I don't really care if it smells like grapefruits. This doesn't smell like grapefruits though. So. Definitely frogs, but it's a good product. So if you like frogs, you'll love Anastasia Brow Gel. Next product that I absolutely love and I have loved for many, many a year. Like I would write some kind of country western song about how much I love this and like how I've tried other blushes in between, but this blush is always my honey bun blush that I always come back to. Physician's Formula blush in a blushing rose. You can get this anywhere. You can get, I can even get this at my HEB, which is my grocery store. You can get it at Walmart or Target or just you know, anywhere that you would want to go. It is a nice, like, mixture of different rosy shades. And I've said this before, and I will say it again. When I do my blush, I'm really trying to get, like, a nice shade of, like, fevered tuberculosis kind of pink. Like, I like my cheeks to be really, really rosy. And this always does the trick. It's just nice. I'm just like, oh, blendy, blendy, tuberculosis. It looks good. It works for me. Yeah, yes. Especially if you're fair colored and you want to really have like cheeks, this is for you. I kind of like really talk about all this stuff badly. I'm like, want to smell like frogs? Buy this. Want to look like you're sick and on the verge of death? Buy this. Uh, whatever. Next product that is definitely in my top 11 is the Tarte Bronzer in Park Avenue Princess. And I've talked about this several, several times. <laughs> this is kind of like a darker bronzer for more dramatic contouring. I've kind of started using it every day because I really like the color so much, but you can overdo it because somebody last week told me that it made me look like I have sideburns, which I don't know if I should have been offended by that. I wasn't offended, but I was, just, you know, like lots of cool people have sideburns, okay? Like Elvis and uh, I can't... 
Elvis. Anyway, if you know what you're doing and you're not me, you can definitely much more skillfully put this on than making of the sideburns. I love this color. It's gorgeous. You only have to put it on once and then the contouring lasts all day, even if you live in like some kind of hot, subtropical, -tromp swampical kind of place like I do, it definitely adheres to your face, which is goodly in my opinion. So I like this one better than other bronzers that have before swiped on my face. It's a good thing. Next product is something that I cannot buy anymore, which makes me angry. So I cannot repurchase this, but if I could, I would. It is my favorite MAC eyeshadow of all time. I feel like I've almost had this to the point of like it being unsanitary, but I don't see the little pot with a number on the back. So maybe it's Okay, maybe there's no rules when it comes to eyeshadow. I, I'm always really sanitary with eyeshadow and the, and the brushes and the cleaning them and the wiping to clean them. This is my staple eyeshadow pretty much all the time. When I went through my whole rum diary phase and that's the only kind of makeup look I ever wanted to do, this is what I was using every single day. It is Max eyeshadow in Golden Gaze. It looks like a magical little planet somehow in outer space. It's kind of like a gold and a, and a smoky black kind of color all like swirled together hanging out. It's gorgeous. I will literally cry actual tears the day that I hit pan on this and I will not know what to do. I have not really successfully found a dupe for this. I found things that are kind of maybe like it but nothing like I don't that's one of the things that kind of bothers me about MAC. I'm just like, why can't you make more than just 12? Next product is, I have two red lipsticks in here. Sorry, I'm not sorry. Red lipstick is my facial staple. If I could only have one thing for my face in my life, I would pick red lipstick. So first red lipstick is one of my favorites of all time. It's super dramatic. I'm sorry if there's like grubby little fingerprints on here. That's the only thing that I don't, god it's like blinding people too. I could like, man if I got lost in like a forest I could just like send out magical like moon signals like use the light from the moon and be like I'm over here. I kind of wish that Yves Saint Laurent would repackage these kind of lipsticks like this. I'm really not that fond of the packaging. I like their sheer voluptual candy pack better. I think that this just looks so much better uh, than this like just beacon from Mars. This is my all-time favorite like non-matte red lipstick. It is gorgeous and when you have it on it is just like the reddest of all reds literally just it's very red. Uh, oh I didn't even tell you what it is. <laughs> it's a uh, Yves Saint Laurent Light Rouge. That's what this is. I don't care that I'm not saying it right. I'll say it wrong again. That being said, I'll go ahead and show you the other favorite red of all time. And this is literally what I've been wearing steady probably for the past like four months. I got this originally for free from Sephora. It was once again in some kind of like little sample thing. I just tried it randomly one day and then this is kind of what started my entire love of Tarte Cosmetics. I absolutely love this chubby lip pencil. My favorite thing about it is that it's a matte shade so I definitely feel more comfortable with wearing this you know like if I'm gonna go out to eat or you know just like if I'm gonna be out for a long period of day a long period of day it makes no sense. This can tend to feel a little bit more like gloppy you know because it's kind of got like a gloss to it whereas since this is matte it never really feels like that in the first place so it's just I don't know, kind of like more better for, more, more, more goodly for all occasions. Next thing is also another kind of like lip color and I get asked about this one a lot because this is what I'm wearing in my current Twitter default photo and a lot of people ask me what color this is because of that. This is one of my favorite staple lip colors for the fall and it's actually just a lip pencil from MAC and this is in their permanent collection so it's something that I think you can still get if you want to go out and get it for yourself. It is MAC's Night Moth and you can't really, I don't like, I kind of like 
made the pencil dirty. I don't know. You're probably not gonna be able to. Why don't I just swatch it? Swatchy, swatchy, swatchy. It's kind of like a really dark burgundy-ish shade. Now, I originally bought it to like layer over other colors, but sometimes I've gotten to the point where I just wear this solo by itself because it really just comes off looking like a matte lip color. I'm cool with that. It's really, really good for fall in my opinion. It's a really dramatic color though, so I don't know. If you don't like dramatic things or moths, you might not like this. We are down to the last two products. Uh, this one, I don't know if you can still get it MAC or not, but it is MAC's Big Bounce Shadow in Black Diamond. And when I bought it, it was kind of in one of those little like cardboard specialty separators, but I don't know if that meant that they were just kind of like, hey, buy this stuff, or like if it was a limited edition. I don't know. This I call my pirate kind of like, you know, smeary, smeary kind of makeup. That's what I most often use it for, but it's just a good kind of like smudgy, smoky eye look. I just use a eyeliner brush and swipe a little bit of it you know on my lash line on top of my lids and then I just take my finger and I smudgy 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 and it kind of just gives you that like smoldering but yet kind of like not intense it's what we used to do like me and uh, my best friend in seventh grade we used to just like put on the eyeliner and then sleep in it and then wake up for school the next day I'm sure that's really just totally a healthy uh, a thing to do but this gives you that look without actually sleeping in your makeup it's a good thing for me. It's bonus Jonas. This is definitely probably my favorite eyeliner of all time. I use it sometimes to layer even if I do still put like a liquid liner on. I just sometimes like to be dramatic and double up on things. There you go. Last thing is my all-time favorite mascara and literally everyone in the universe this is their favorite mascara i just think all other people who make mascara should just stop just quit and retire because i think every single person i've watched do this tag this was their chosen mascara it is my chosen mascara as well this legitimately somewhat gives you the appearance of false lashes while letting you still be completely lazy and not in fact put false eyelashes on. It is Maybelline's The Falsies Volume Express. Now my personal favorite is the flared one which is the one with these kind of like creepy looking like angel wings on it. Uh, do you see them? Do you see the wings? We're just gonna say they're gator wings. Cause God, gator wings sounds like something you would order at Popeyes. Hi, can I have a large bucket of gator wings, please? Hold the sauce. Sometimes I start my makeup and I'm like, okay, today, today, just go the extra mile, put the false lashes on. But then I just put two coats of this on and I'm like, why bother? True story, Morning Glory. I don't feel like you have to necessarily put false eyelashes on with this on your face. You can get it everywhere once again. It's not that expensive. I think it's like under $7 if I'm right. I've been talking for 21 minutes. That is just absurd. So I will conclude you now here. I hope you have enjoyed this. I love you all dearly. Oh, let me tag some people. Right off the top of my head, I'm gonna tag Cory Hells for Children. She's a personal friend of mine. You will all like her. The other person I want to tag is my eyeshadow is odd because I haven't seen your face in a long time and I miss your face and your magical mermaid hair. And then uh, lastly, but certainly not leastly, an actual real life friend of mine, Leanne says, I don't think you've done this tag before, but if you have, just, you can always do it again. You could just do 10 things I would repurchase, like 10 anythings, like, you know, like spaghetti. Would you rebuy spaghetti? I, I would. Uh, anyway, I'm done now and I will see you guys tomorrow. I promise I'll be back tomorrow because I miss you guys. Okay, just, I'm gonna take you all with me, okay? Oh, I could, I could conclude with a dance. Just sexy, 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 so sexy. Okay, I'm done now. I've had my moment.